All right, so I got a uh, question about when you build an object, they want it to essentially animate like downward, starting up a little bit higher, animate downward, and then start with the next construction. So basically we're just gonna be looking here. So let's go through it. We have our check. Um, which is being called every point one by the, the timer there. And then we're checking to see if the widget's destroyed. If it's not, then we go through a sequence. And the sequence, um, checking to see if it's, if the item is placed. If it is placed, checks to see if the wall has been placed yet. And if it hasn't, um, we're setting up the widget and then checking the bar percent to see if it's greater or equal to 1 and if it is we're setting the visibility of the wall and then we're placing the wall and setting the bar to 0 back down to 0 percent to start with the following sequence wall placed true and so on so basically what we want to do here um, is at first like when it when it, the visibility is set directly before this we want to um, set it up a little bit higher and then um, move it down gradually and then set our wall placed variable uh, but unfortunately in order to do that we have to set it up because this is continuously ticking so if I do just do you know set world location and do Z uh, plus 50, it'll keep going up because um, it's constantly ticking. So we need to do another check um, here. So it doesn't continuously tick it. Or what we could do to avoid even doing a check. Let's just run a sequence node as soon as this pops up here. Oh, come on, on real quit being like that. Please. Please, please. Oh my god. Why is it so laggy? We'll try a sequence to see if this works. Do once. Wait for this to decide to load. There we go. Okay. So we have a do once. And now what we want to do is get building part one. set the world location not offset oh my lord right there okay and basically what we want to do is get world location Split it and split that. That'll be X, that'll be Y, and this will add I guess see what I'm clicking here. There we go. And we'll do fifty, why not? Okay. And then we'll go back in here. So now, no matter how much this ticks, it'll only do that once. So now we can pop it down, and our wall is lifted up. Okay. So now let's create another variable and do wall is wall anim. So we'll set that to true. 
Okay. So now we want to set the visibility of it. Do a branch. Is wall enum. If it's false, I'm gonna go with that. If it's true, I'm going to grab the building part. We'll try it. I think I might have to get a additional variable for the location of the building part, but we'll try it here first. Um, add local. Yeah, I knew I spelled that right. Wrong. Oh, come on, please just load. Thank you. True. Add local offset minus 10. Okay, and then, yeah, yeah, I'm going to, but actually, I think I'll just only set the Z value here, prone to variable. So start value, and we'll go. Bam. So if that branch. Okay, so we have the start value. And now we want to get the world location. So basically what this is doing Just to compensate for it, just in case, I'm going to do this value is less than or equal to the start value. Just in case the R subtraction goes past the value here, it should be less than it, regardless. Right? And then. We want to set is ball alum to false. Let's try that out. And there we go. Job's done. We'll show it again here. Bam. Animates down. Bam. Bam. Oh right, I forgot I I had <laughs> I have multiple versions of it. Okay, it works with this version, but not that version. That version I'll keep going. I forgot I had multiple versions of it and it kinda It changes. I totally that's totally my bad. I think that's a player uh but I mean uh, I I actually have a meeting uh in a few minutes so I'm going to stop here but to uh, recap real quick so we have the check widget branch goes into the sequence this stuff you should all have from the tutorial. 
But right here, after the branch for bar percent uh, greater than or equal to one, you want to go into true, do a sequence, do once, and then at first you want to set the building part world location of the z axis to a variable. And then after that, you want to set the world location of that z value plus 50, or whatever you want, however much you want the object raised at. And then set is wall animation to true, which is a new variable that we created. So, and then the second sequence goes into set visibility, so it's visible. Is wall anim, so we're checking to see if this variable is true. Uh, in this case it is, because it, it went through the sequence once. So if it is true, we want to add local offset and make sure it's negative 10. That's very important with how it's set up. So because this is you know, just a box kind of above it, you want negative 10 so it goes down. And then get the world location. And then using that start value that we set it set up here, you want to split and check to see if the z value is less than or equal to the start value. If it is, put it into the branch. And on true, you want to set is wall animation to false. That way, on this sequence here where it's checking to see if the wall animation is true or false, when it's false, it sets the wall placed, sets the bar percent to zero, and allows the sequence to go through again. Um, and you could pretty much do the exact same thing uh, down here. So is visibility between this branch, the sequence, all of this on the top, except building part one obviously would be building part two. Set the Z to a different variable, not start value, name it something else. Uh, this should be like uh, wall start value, and then this could be like ceiling start value or whatever. And then also, I'd recommend using a different Boolean variable as well. Uh, so you could do is ceiling anim. Uh, that way there's no conflict with this, because this is going to probably keep ticking. Um, so yeah, use a different variable and set everything up pretty much exactly the same, just with the new variables. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps. Uh, leave a comment if you uh, need anything else. So yeah. Thanks for watching.